Hello, happy Thursday. It is weigh-in day. So I did my weigh-in this morning and when I took the video apparently I hit record but didn't hit record if that makes sense. So I'm going to show you a quick look at what that video looked like. Uh, I didn't end up getting a screenshot of my weight like I screenshotted the weight that it started with but or ended with because um, apparently I started weighing myself it stopped moving and I was recording and I wasn't recording it's a mess y'all it's Thursday why should it be any different than any other day why is my hair sticking out look like I got chihuahua ears like what 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 anyhow here's what the video looks like I'm just gonna fast forward through it so you can see how crazy it was and then I will put in Y'all, my hair was looking like puppy dog ears, so I had to stick it up a little bit for a little while. Um, yeah, so I, I gained weight, which we probably knew was going to happen because I've been saying how I've been retaining water a lot more. It doesn't help that I didn't get a certain thing this month. Uh, I'm sure that is also not helping. I do also feel like I probably have a cyst, which does increase my water retention on its own in my abdomen area. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's a lot to unpack on that so there's a lot of things going into why I've been gaining weight but I kind of took a step back yesterday I sat down and I said okay or the day before yesterday so okay I gotta fix this I gotta do something different I gotta make this better um tomorrow I'm going to talk about my food prep that I did for lunches for the rest of the week um it's about 400 calories for lunch and it's all healthy I'll show you what I got I'm actually having again today the same thing, it's actually a variety of flavors that I could very easily eat this every day. And it also has the ability to change it up a little bit, so I'm not stuck with this, this, and this. But for this week, it's what I chose to do. Um, my sodium at level and everything is right where it needs to be, lower than required for the week with what I'm doing for the week. For breakfast, I'm doing um, oatmeal. Um, and I'm adding like a quarter of a teaspoon of brown sugar to plain oatmeal that's it that's all I'm doing um that's a hundred and <laughs> hang on that is 158 calories for that and then like yesterday for dinner since we have still some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving we chopped it up into bite-sized pieces um and we got a new blender thing you guys will see on Saturday in my video I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on it um, and the blender thing, we went ahead and used that. We made a turkey noodle soup. It was really good. Um, I have the recipe book for it somewhere. I know the calories were right where I needed to be for calorie count. Um, and overall it was really great. Um, it was a good soup. It filled me up had carrots and we, I'm also going to do a recipe probably next week. I did a DIY chicken bouillon and bouillon for soup base. Um, it's really expensive to buy um, with as much times as I have. Oh, you need chicken broth, you need beef broth, you need vegetable broth. I decided to DIY a bouillon um, and it ends up being a lot lower in sodium, a lot better tasting. It's got a lot more like flavor to it. And I can make it in a bulk, like I make it in a couple, like it's about a little bit over a cup at a time, which I, I only use a tablespoon of it for every like cup and a half or two cups of water. Um, and it adds the flavor to the water that, that I need, but it makes it so much simpler and it gives a great flavor. So um, it has five teaspoons of salt in the whole thing, but it's a big container. So, I mean, it's like, I'm probably doing like 30 or 40 tablespoons out of that and so it's a minimal amount of sodium compared to the stuff you buy at the store it's a lot healthier plus the fact that it's made myself um I can make as much as I want and vacuum seal it and then just open it as I need it and refill the container so that's what we've been, that's what we plan on doing is making a big batch in a bowl and then measuring one cup amounts and then vacuum sealing them and marking them and then as we need it, just pop it open and use it. 
And then when it's gone, I make another, you know, take another one and pop it open. It'll, it'll last us probably a full year easily. Um, so I'm pretty excited about making a big batch. And that's what I'm going to do for next week's video is make a big batch of the bullion base and then vacuum seal it up for storage purposes. And then that way we'll always have it on hand when we need bullion for anything. And it's not going to matter if it's beef or chicken, it's just bullion. So let's make flavored water you can use in soups or uh, if you want to put, for people who do like a bowl, like a stock with their meat when they cook it, you won't need anything else. It's great. So I'll put that in a video for next week. Um, tomorrow will be my meal prepping. You're going to see the same shirt because I'm videoing that today. I, mean, I already did it, but like the, the intro and the extra, uh, outro and that stuff I'm videoing today. So I can have that video up and ready to go for tomorrow. Um... And then Saturday, we've already filmed the ninja, th Push. the blender thing we got. I got a really good deal on it. I'll talk about that on Saturday. Um, and then, yeah. So one more thing. I know I've been mentioning to you guys here and there that there's been some stuff going on that I couldn't talk about. And I can now talk about it because it's Facebook official. And this is something going on in the background, kind of taking up a lot of my time and attention for a good reason. So without further ado, here is some photos. So for those of you who have seen my daughter in previous videos, she's expecting July 5th is her due date. And so I've been dealing with a lot of that, um, kind of helping her meander who to call, how to call, when to call, what to do, what to eat, what to not eat, what to do, you know, all this stuff. Um, and of course she's super excited. I'm excited for them. Her boyfriend is very excited. Um, she just went for her first doctor's appointment. And everything looks amazing. So, um, baby has a very strong heartbeat. Right now, baby's about the size of a grape and has little arms and legs and feet and hands and a big old head. <laughs> so, yeah. My son looked at the picture and said, oh, you mean it's the seahorse looking thing? Yeah, it's a seahorse looking thing. But it's got arms and legs now. He just was looking at the picture from far away of her ultrasound. And then my husband said, all that black stuff around it, is that yolk? <laughs> I'm like, well, technically the baby's the yolk. <laughs> like, if you want to get into it and compare it to an actual, like, chicken egg, can't take the farm out of the farm boy, y'all. But anyhow, um, yeah, so that's what's been going on a lot in the background is that. Plus the move. Um, yesterday he found out, my husband found out the company he's been working for lost a huge contract for pumps so we're really glad we made the decision to move this definitely was god saying you need to start working on this now um my realtor is all set to come out here in january to list the house she's going to have the photographer come out in early january and take photos so we have three weeks to get the house ready for photos for for, for listing the house and i'm nervous i'm a nervous wreck and it was funny because the friend of ours who does real estate who's local who actually sold us our house. Um, when I said how much I wanted to list the house for, she um, said, oh, I don't think we can do that. Well, I'm going to real estate school and I also already knew how to pull comps and stuff like that. And I pulled comps and we can more than list our house for what I wanted to list it for. So I don't know. I mean, she was very much, well, you're gonna list the house with me. And I, you know, she was our friend when we first sold the house, bought the house and then when we decided we didn't, her church wasn't a right fit for us, she really stopped talking to us. And um, I, I'm just not using her for a realtor. I'm using somebody who is a, someone I know, but isn't a close friend, um, isn't someone I've felt close to or relied on, or it's just somebody that I know who I like as a person genuinely, and somebody I know who can benefit from the sale of a house. She recently adopted a baby, she has two other children, She's married. I mean, she doesn't, does she have need? Nobody actually, you know, needs the money when you're a realtor. Sometimes you do, but she's got a family to support and I have mad respect for her. She is an amazing person. 
And when I've gone through some stuff, she doesn't really know me very well, but she has been there and like, re you know, reached back out to me, answered me, helped me. And no, we're not friends, but I trust her a hundred percent. Um, so overall, um, it's one of those things that like, uh, we just, you know, I trust her. Uh, it just, that's who I'm going to go with. And so I now feel like this mad fury to need to get stuff packed up. We need to get a storage shed to move stuff in the storage, storage shed. Because I know the boxes are going to be too much to have in a house for people to walk around and look. And, um, yeah, so I, I'm a little bit nervous now about selling the house. I'm nervous about all this stuff and it's kind of coming down on me right now. And I know that's not helping me weight loss wise. Um, reality, we're looking at a two bedroom apartment and my son living with, so I don't know where I'm put my workout equipment. So I'm not going to have the money for a gym. <clears throat> I've got a lot of stuff going through my head right now. Then I'm like, you know, I just got all this brand new workout equipment. I know I can't get the money out of it. If I tried to sell it to get the money back to like buy new equipment when we buy a house. So I'm just going to bring it with us, which is fine because I think I should be able to put most of it. Well, I mean, I only have like two big pieces. So I mean, I think I should be able to fit them like in our bedroom or something or like put the bike out in the living room. I don't care. I mean, if we have friends and when they can't handle, I have a workout bike in my living room, they can suck it up. You know, I just don't know how big of a space we're going to have. That's my biggest concern right now. Um, but we don't have a dining room table because we did sell our dining room table. So maybe I'll just put it if there's a dining area. Let's turn to my workout area. Um, I'm, I just don't, don't want to sell the equipment I got. First of all, it was a gift that is precious to me. Um, second of all, it, it works for what I need it to do. And third of all, I just really, um, I need to be able to work out every day. Um, and I, right now I haven't been able to because all my workout equipment is in the back right now because we're tiling that front room. And so I'm going to have to have a hard talk with my husband today and be like, we got to move because we really do. We've got to get moving. We've got to get this stuff done. We've got to go through stuff. We've got to pack stuff up. We've got to find a storage area just to shove a bunch of stuff that's already packed and be done. You know, like all the holiday decorations, all that stuff, just put it into storage and just keep adding boxes into the storage thing. And yes, that probably means rent a U-Haul and bring it back all back to the house when we finally know we have a sale and we can rent a pod to take our stuff. Um, I thought about, thought about doing GoFundMe to see if people would help us out to pay for the pod to move because that's money we have to have before we sell our house and we'd have the money once we sell our house but um because we don't want to take out a loan we could because we're going to sell the house and then we get the money back we've thought about taking out there's a company locally that is doing a christmas loan um and we thought about seeing if we could take out a loan for like three thousand and then just order the pod and plan a date to move and just be ready to go and if the house isn't sold, that's okay. Like, move anyway, because what will all be paid for. Um, and then um, we'd be able to start our new jobs and get started on our life. And then they can just overnight us the closing paperwork. She said it's not a big deal. They do it all the time. Um, so that might be an option of something we look at doing. But I don't know. We're going to maybe look at, into doing this loan thing and see if they'll let us do it. Um, we have a limited time to apply for it, though, but it's a loan where you take it out now for the holidays and then you um, don't have to pay it back till March, which is when we're hoping to sell the house. So it's like, well, you know, um, so that's what we're looking at right now. Um, I do know that the houses in this area are not lasting long right now, especially because we're so close to a school. It's a really quiet neighborhood. The house is huge. Um, and I just, you know, overall, I just hope everything goes as planned. Um, but we'll wait and see what happens. I mean, that's the best we can do. Um, and I've got to talk to my son because he hasn't been helping out a lot lately. And that's putting a lot of stress on me. Um, And it's not, it's not good for me with what I've got going on. And I do want to mention this uh, Xiaomi fitness band, like $37 on Amazon. Really good. I love it. Um, it counts my, gives me the time, counts the um, steps.
but there's other stuff it does. Like it can hook to my phone and I can control music on my phone. It tells me how far I've gone, how many calories I've burned. It lets me, if I'm going to go running or something or whatever, it gives me different options for like workouts that I'm doing to monitor it too. So that's really cool. Um, and also the app is really easy to use. So overall, I really like it. Um, I've been averaging only about 2,500 steps a day. But for me, that's great because before I started losing weight, I was going like zero steps a day. I was minimal stepping. So 2,500 is great. Um, and I'm making it a point to get up and walk things. And I went to Walmart by myself the other day and I bought a mister for oil. And then we replaced our avocado oil because we were out. And I decided to get a mister. It's one of those misto misters, like 10 bucks at Walmart. Because um, you put your oil in it and then it becomes like a spray thing like Pam. Which that means it's going to be way cheaper than buying Pam. Even the olive oil Pam. Um, but it's going to be just oil. No extra like stuff in there that they use for propellant or any of that stuff. Um, so I got that because it's better than like putting a tablespoon of oil in there. I can actually just spray a little bit of oil. Use less oil, even though it's healthier oil. Use less oil and have a more, you know full coverage of the oil on the pan when I cook so that'll be great um but overall yeah I'm really I'm really excited about what's going on overall I'm trying to take a deep breath I'm trying not to not get overwhelmed but as you can see I am overwhelmed knowing that we have like three to four weeks max to handle all of this is a lot and I was supposed to go somewhere yesterday because on top of all this I still have to my real estate school and I still have to do my health coaching finishing my health coaching stuff I have a few more thing criteria before I get my final certificate. Um, and I just, I need to take the time to do that. And it's a lot, but in the holidays, of course. Um, Monday's video will not be a typical weekly overall thing because I'm doing videos every day. You guys are kind of hearing what's going on every day while I'm doing my videos. So Monday, I'm actually going to talk about when Taylor was visiting and the things we did. Um, and yeah. Uh, so that's what I've got going on. I've got a bunch of videos planned out. I know what they're going to be. I've downloaded all the stuff I've recorded. I've got everything ready to go. I just have to do my intros and outros for them for a lot of it. Um, and you may see similar clothes. It is because I'm doing a few of these on the same day so that everything's in and ready to go so that I can work on doing things for other videos, if that makes sense. I've never been one to have videos in the can. It's not something I like to do. I like to be daily. But at the same token... I'm adding two more days back into my schedule. I still have extra stuff I'm doing, plus the clip, plus trying to get the house ready for listing and all of this stuff. So overall, for me, it is super, super important that we get things done, um, that we need to get done for the house. And I, it's just easier for me to take a day or two a week right now and can up those videos and process them all and just put it out there and ready to go. So every day you guys are getting videos. Cause like yesterday I did the video same day and ended up being late because I had to go do my class. I had gotten to, pulled into a video conference for my classes and stuff started happening. Then I had to pick up my son. Then I had to pick up my husband. Then he came home. You know, I had to make dinner. We had to do tiling. Like there's a lot going on, which is why it was so late. So I'd rather have them in the can ready for you guys than random times they're going up and you can't be guaranteed when it's coming and it's just better that way. So anyhow, I will see you guys tomorrow with the food prep video. Friday, Saturday will be the new blender we got and what we made with it. Um, and then Monday will be what we did when Taylor was here. And yeah, so I'm going to be in Oma and I'm trying to get my house ready for sale. And I'm trying to do two different school programs and do my YouTube channel and work out and eat right. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's a lot. But I'm doing it. I am succeeding. And a year ago, I would have told you I couldn't do all this. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.